to Industry of Things World USA. I'm here with Jeff Jaffe from WCC. Thank you for, for being here. Good morning. Um, so, Jeff, could you maybe introduce us to some of the projects that W3C is currently working on? Well, our major project related to uh, Industry of Things is a project that we call the Web of Things. Mm -hmm. So, uh, famously, what made the Internet come alive was the World Wide Web, the interoperable technology, the fact that everyone could share information. We think that the industry of things requires that same sharing of information, which can only be achieved if we have the proper data modeling to make it possible for all things to be accessed by all application developers. And then what would you say is characteristic of this word web of things? Well, what, what's characteristic about it is that it breaks down data silos. So today you could have uh, a smart city application and you could have a smart home application and those two applications could be using the same uh, devices, the same things. Um, my smart watch might help information about my smart home. My same smart watch will help information for the smart city. But since they're different application silos, this watch doesn't understand that it's the same watch in the two application environments. So it characterizes the web of things is through common modeling of the data and devices, the things themselves, we get better interoperability amongst application silos. Okay, and what, is, what are the, the challenges then that, that you can face with this word web of, uh, of things? Well, that, that's a great question. And the biggest challenge, I think, is that so many companies are focused on building the industry of things solution that they see today, that they're not looking forward to the broader implications over time. So if by analogy you look at the original World Wide Web, um, there were lots of information databases that preceded the World Wide Web, and people developed those, those databases because they had particular needs for them. But by having that narrow focus on their needs, they missed the bigger picture. And only when Tim Berners-Lee invented the World Wide Web and said there's a bit bigger picture here, did this tremendous information resource come along, which as we know has transformed society. So we think with the Internet of Things, as it applied to industry, we have that same opportunity again to again transform society. But it's hard to get companies that are focused on their specific line of business application to take that broader view. Yeah. So it's, it's pretty early on, on day one of the industry of things world, but I would like to, to ask you maybe what do you think of the format? I know you were there yesterday at the icebreaker and you've mm -hmm. already seen a couple of, um, of keynote this morning. What do you think of the format and the community that's gathered here? I think it's a terrific format because it balances probably the, the three things that, that are most important in any conference. Keynote presentations, which give perspective. And as I said earlier, talking about the challenges of Web of Things, uh, people often lose perspective when they focus on their thing. Uh, secondly, the parallel sessions which can go in-depth on a topic. And thirdly, probably most importantly for many people, is the networking opportunities. And I think networking is specifically, uh, specifically important for Industry of Things world because, because this conference is bringing together stakeholders from very diverse industries who may not ordinarily travel together. So it gives an opportunity to really see what different companies are thinking about and, and, and what their priorities and, uh, are and what's important to them. Well, thank you very much, Jeff, and then enjoy the, the rest of the day today and, and tomorrow. I will. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you.